So I just got back from watching Suicide Squad, but before we absolutely tear apart this masterpiece of a film, we gotta understand how we got here. James Gunn in 2016 pretty much changed the comic book movie genre as a whole pretty much forever with Guardians of the Galaxy, which ultimately put much more light heart on the film and introduced a lot of comedy, which would further influence the rest of the MCU moving forward. Now with the success of Guardians of the Galaxy, Warner Bros saw this and took their most compelling slash relatable characters, Suicide Squad, and tried to make a film in 2016 with David Ayer. David Ayer wanted a more serious approach to the film, but as we know, Warner Bros chopped up and edited and cut and reshoot this movie to put more comedic things in it, ultimately completely destroying this film. The franchise showed promise though, making over 700 million in the box office, which is much more than it should have judging by the actual movie. The film is almost the, the worst, worst out of, out of any, any modern comic, comic book, book movie. movie. Moving forward, they saw the potential. A few years later, they got the actual supplier himself, James Gunn, and now we're basically here. They're giving him money. They're giving him the freedom. They said, you know what? We fucked up. Do what you want. Now that we've caught back up, let's talk about this fucking amazing movie. There is a ton of gore and a lot of deaths in this film that I didn't expect. I don't think anything could prepare you for the amount of shit in this movie. Captain Boomerang dying literally made my jaw drop, and I knew from the second that happened. Oh, this shit's a fucking roller coaster. Characters like Rick Flag, who I didn't really give a shit about in the first movie, are now kind of pulling my heartstrings and make me feel a lot about the character in this movie. And this is something James Gunn has perfected. He knows how to make you fall in love with the character very fucking fast. John Cena being another one. When has anyone ever credited John Cena for a performance? No, in this movie, his line delivery is perfect, his timing on his lines are perfect, and he has a change of heart in the third act that feels so organic. I can't wait for the Peacemaker show. Yeah, Bloodsport as well is a very sick character. I loved him. And uh, that's a problem I had with the first Suicide Squad movie is as good as Deadshot was, I ultimately came out of that movie seeing it as Will Smith with a beard and guns. While in this movie, I see the character Bloodsport and that just goes to show how good of a job Idris did here at representing that character. Another one that really surprised me was Danielle Melchior's Ratcatcher 2. This girl had possibly the most heart in the movie, pulled the most strings in the movie, and has a really motivational narrative that continues throughout the film and ends up being kind of full circle in the third act. And it really just hits home. James Gunn really did good at making you fall in love with these new characters, including King Shark as well. He has a lot of like adorable scenes and he has no friends and Ratcatcher like becomes his friend and it's so cute. I love Sebastian as well. There's a lot of adorableness. There's a lot of over the topness in this movie and I fucking love it. Another thing I love is how organic the team feels. Uh, I think a group of ragtag individuals becoming a team is something James Gunn has perfected and the bar scene is a great representation of that. This is something that I feel David Ayer tried to do in the first Suicide Squad movie but ultimately failed in comparison because this scene truly does feel like it's a group of prisoners who have been locked up for 5, 10, 15 plus years and finally get their freedom to step out get a drink and have fun for the first time in how long and they really sell that here and it also is compelling moving forward for them becoming a team i believe king shark was so adorable as well and i think the thinker was used the best way possible for this story and i think he did well in the story king shark is adorable I also loved these transitions James Gunn put in this movie to kind of bounce between the chapters of the movie, but he also used like the elements of the environment in that scene, and it was just a breath of fresh air to see something very different in these comic book movies. The cinematography in here is visually stunning, and so are the visual effects. They're pretty much seamless, and there's not a single moment where there's some CG crap 
or a visual effect mess that takes you out of the film. The soundtrack is amazing, so is the score, John Murphy is wonderful on here, I loved him in Kick-Ass and I love him even more on this movie. When the soundtrack is playing during the scene when they enter Jotunheim and uh, they're all walking in the rain with that super slow-mo shot, uh, I think the lighting here was really cool and also loved when John Murphy's score started playing over Bloodsport, kind of putting together his gun and I think that's a cool narrative that he had throughout this movie is becoming a leader and ultimately in this third act when they fight Starro he truly does and it was a very motivational moment and I truly felt it and especially when he started leading the team he's telling Harley to take the high ground he's telling King Shark to go num num and ultimately he tells Polka Dot Man that that Starro is your fucking mother and I loved Polka Dot Man in here he's someone I heavily advocated for throughout the course of this film and its release I think Polka Dot Man has become a forgotten villain by not only the people but dc themselves he's an original batman villain and as goofy and laughable as his character is i think he works perfectly for this story james gunn really knows how to take a character that just looks stupid has stupid abilities and he's able to deliver on not only the character themselves but make you feel for the character themselves James Gunn delivers on a lot of heart in this movie, which going in I did not expect, and he also delivers on a lot of comedy like he always does. James Gunn has a lot of energy throughout this film with his over the top gore, his over the top language, and the entire movie as a whole. And he really delivers on the epicness of this movie, and all this movie is just so damn genuine, and it's the best superhero movie I've seen since Endgame. This Suicide Squad is basically perfect.